Hello, good evening. Ayan, so good evening po sa lahat ng ating viewers dyan. So tonight is another online live study for registered master planning. And meron tayong another topic for tonight. So ishishare ko sa inyo ngayon yung topic natin for tonight. It's about... So, sub chapter 5 po tayo, the sewage treatment plant. Okay, if you are watching tonight, kindly share share this video para din maka-join din po yung iba nating mga friends there. Yeah, don't forget to like and also uh, follow my page. Yan, para din po sa mga magre-review ng registered master planning. Hello po sa inyong lahat. Yan. So, let's start. I think you are ready. And if ever, you can watch anytime the videos on my Facebook page. So, once again, I'm Engineer Joy and I'm here to discuss discuss the chapter 5 our topic for tonight is about the, the chapter 5 then chapter 6 okay so yung chapter 5 muna, it's sewage treatment plan this is the continuation ng mga past uh, na, na, na shinare ko sa inyo no? so sewage treatment plan what's the purpose of this so siguro some of you this is the first time that you uh, encounter this term, terminology, or ngayon nyo lang nalaman kung ano ang ibig, ay ngayon nyo lang malalaman ang sewage treatment plan. Or maybe some of you, you already know this one. But uh, sa akin, na-encounter ko na to at physically, nakita ko na rin, kumbaga nakita ko yung sewage treatment plan, but, but not on the inside. So, tatakal natin kung ano yung inside. Pero, um, uh, way back before, when I was doing my field, okay, nag-field ako, so it means nagtrabaho ako sa isang, sa isang resort, uh, we handled this kind of treatment plant, the sewage treatment plant, okay? Okay, let's start. Uh, to protect water resources and the great environment, always from buildings and industrial processes must be treated to meet certain standards of quality. So, pinagbabawal po ang tinatawag natin na bypass. So, ibig sabihin, yung lahat ng dumi from the building, from the factory, ay mapupunta diretso sa open water, which is yung sa, sa other, um, either sa ocean, sa, sa river. Bawal po yun. Kailangan, before po, um, ibalik yung, ano, yung, yung tubig, ma-discharge yung tubig, kailangan meron muna siyang treatment. Okay? Because we need to protect the environment. So that's the reason why we have the sewage treatment plant. Domestic sewage from dwellings and DWB systems, the drainage, pag sinabi na drainage, waste, and vent, vent systems in buildings are permitted to be discharge into the public sewer system, which provides the necessary treatment prior to its, to its discharge into nature. So, water treatment and disposal. Basic purposes of sewage treatment. Ito po yun. First is to destroy pathogenic microorganisms. The pathogens are disease-causing bacteria. If ever, imagine this one. If Kung sakali na galing sa loob ng, di ba, yung waste, all the waste na nakuha natin sa sa building, yung napipon sa building, tapos diretsyo lang po doon sa ano. So, makikita natin, um, magig, yung magiging, yung oceans, yung river, magiging contaminated. That's why, ang um, purpose of the sewage treatment, is to destroy the pathogenic microorganisms 
the pathogens that can cause bacteria, pwede siyang magka-cause ng diarrhea, and illnesses sa people. Kaya yun yung iiwasan pa natin. Kaya meron tayong sewage treatment plant. And reason, another purpose of the sewage treatment is to remove most suspended and dissolved biodegradable organic materials. Okay? So, raw or untreated sewage is mostly pure water since it comprises about 99.9% water and only about 0.1% impurities. However, sewage contains biodegradable organic material which is very likely to contain pathogenic or microorganisms. So, the amount of pathogens in the wastewater is expected to be proportional to the concentrations of fecal coliform bacterium Cal-E coli uh, Cal-E coli Echa, ano ito? Escherichia coli The E. coli o yan, E. coli concentration in raw sanitary sections is about 1 billion per day but it is not a pathogen in fact, our bowels will not function properly without it. But as an indica indicator organism, the presence of E. coli indicates that water is contaminated with fecal waste and pathogens may present. So the ENR in standard is 10,000 MPN per 100 ml. Okay? So for water to be safe for drinking, the E. coli count shall not be more than 1 E. coli per 100 ml, about 0 0.4 cup of water. So, yan po, pa, yan po natin masasabi if the water is safe to drink. No? So, dapat it's not more than 1 E. coli per 100 ml. For water to be considered safe for swimming, the E. coli shall be more than 200 ml. E. coli per 100 ml of water. Okay, para masabi natin na safe siya, lang mo yan. Dapat yung E. coli shall be more than 200 E. coli per 100 ml of water. So, biological oxygen demand or the BOD, this is the measure of the strength of the sewage in relation to the total amount of organic chaos it contains. And treated domestic sanitary sewage has an average BOD of about 200 milligram per liter. And this is the standard of the DNR, uh, 50 milligram per liter. Dapat yan po yung BOD of uh, sa standard, no? So the total suspended solids or the TSS, it's the measure of the strength of the sewage in relation to the amount of suspended solids. Untreated domestic sanitary sewage has an average of PSS of 240 milligram per liter. So, tatandaan pa natin, uh, just to review it once again, the biological oxygen demand, which is the POD, the DENR standard is 50 milligram per liter. And for untreated domestic sanitary sewage has an average BOD, which is about 200 mg per liter. Pag TSS, it means total suspended solids. And pag untreated siya, domestic sanitary sewage has an average of 240 mg per liter. Okay? So, another group of impurities that is of major significance in wastewater is the compounds of nitrogen and the phosphorus from plant nutrients. Roman sanitary sewage contains an average of 35 mg per liter of nitrogen and 10 mg per liter of phosphorus. Okay. So, here's the process of the sewage treatment. Okay, so the sewage treatment process may be divided into the four major steps. First is the preliminary treatment. Here in preliminary treatment, there's 35% of BOD and 60% of TSS are removed. So, yun yung mga inaalis natin, the BOD and the TSS. So, that's the preliminary treatment. Next is the primary 
treatment, which is subdivided into four, sedimentation, aeration, skimming, and the sludge removal. Pag sinabi natin sedimentation, it's and sedimentation and retention per se. Raw sewage is contained for the preliminary separations of indigestible solids and the start of aerobic action. Now, after this the sedimentation, aeration na tayo. So, sa aeration, this is the introduction of air. That's why it calls aeration. Through natural conduction of mechanical blowers to accelerate the decomposition of organic material, matters. And next, from aeration, go to the skimming. It's the removal of scum that floats on top of the part partially treated sewage. Okay, that is skimming. And next, it's the sludge removal. Disposal of heavy sludge at the bottom of the treated sewage. So later, I will uh, show to you the sewage treatment plan. So, in the primary treatment, 85% of BOD and 85% TSS are removed. So, this time, if it's in pre preliminary treatment, 35% BOD and 60% TSS are removed. Here, in the primary treatment, it's 85% and 85% BOD and TSS are removed. Now, in secondary treatment, namely the removal of colloidal and dissolved organic material, so that's the secondary, removal of colloidal and dissolved organic materials. And the fourth is the tertiary treatment, that is the removal of dissolved nitrogen and phosphorus and disinfection of effluent by the addition of chemicals such as chlorine. So in the tertiary treatment, dito na natin naglalagay ng chlorine. 10 milligram per liter. So, sewage treatment plants. The design of sewage treatment plants for large buildings, building complexes, and municipality follows precisely the same processes described above. However, modern treatment plants do require considerable mechanized equipment and controls in order to be efficient and reliable. Sanitary engineers or the plumbing engineers who specialize in the subject to the design of these treatment plants. So one of our goal as a master plumber is to design a sewage treatment plant of the building. So following are the definitions of some commonly used terms related to the subject of sewage treatment methods and disposal processes. First is what we call the digestion. Okay, let's highlight it. Yeah. Digestion. So this is the portion of the sewage treatment process in which biochemical decomposition of organic matter takes place, resulting in the formation of simple organic and mineral substances, also known as aerobic bacterial digestion. Next is the influent. Influent, this is untreated sewage flowing into a treatment system. And next is the effluent. Influent is different from effluent. So, pag sanabi natin influent, that is untreated. Sewage flowing into treatment system. Pag sanabi natin effluent, it's the treated or partially treated sewage flowing out of a, of a treatment system. Next is sedimentation. It's the formation of layers of, formation of, layers of heavy particles in the influent. Next is the aerobic bacterial digestion it's digestions of the waste through the natural bacteria digestive action in a tank or chamber next is the active sludge it's the sewage sediment rich in destructive bacteria which can be used to break down fresh sewage more quickly next is the Filtration. So filtration a means of filtering out of any solid matter from the effluent. And next is disinfection. It's a process to disinfect the effluent with chemicals. So do na tayo naglalagay ng chlorine. And percolation, that's the flow of trickling of a liquid downward through a filtering medium. So I will show you uh, 
the different treatments, kung paano yung design nito. So, here's the preliminary treatment, which is we remove the debris and grit. As you can see, this is the raw sewage. So, dito na yung mga pupu, yung mga ganun, or any kung ano yung galing doon sa mismong pipe, di ba? So, sa drainage. Then, papunta dito sa sewage treatment plant. Kung saan, may makikita tayong bar screen. And this is the debris removal. Then, here's may water po dito. Ito na to. May water dito. Velocity slow scores grit settles. Then, dahil pag pumasok dito, dito pa lang uh, sa side ng bar screen, itong nakikita nyo, diba parang uh, nagkakaroon na po ng debris removal. Now, sa grit screen, dito po pumapasok dito yung mga soil or yung luma, lumalalim, uh, I mean bumababa po. No, so, that's the, that's the preliminary treatment, removing the grit and the bru, debris. Then, yung liquid na to, as you can see, ito yung liquid na to. Now, it's going to the, uh, dito na tayo, pumapasok na siya sa primary treatment. Dito na yung four na kanina nag-discuss ko. So, this is to remove the, partic par, uh, the particulate organic material. Yan. So, what, water enters at the center and blows out over where at edge very slow velocity and particulate organic material settles constitutes row edges. So, dito parang ginigiling siya. Ito yung, um, as you can see, meron po dito umiikot. It's a rotating one. Itong part na to, rotating flow na tinatawag natin. Then, iniikot dyan hanggang sa nagsasettle down dito sa baba yung mga row sludge removal kasi we are removing the sludge so, so sludge treatment na tayo dito then yung nakukuha ng sludge treatment it's for composting and an aerobic digestion then it became fertilizer or methane methane or yung mga methane gas then yung liquid na nandito will flow Kasi medyo clear na siya. It's clarified water. Nandito na yung aerobic. Uh, nandito na, dito na yung sedimentation, aerobic, and uh, the other two. So, sa next one is going to the secondary treatment na po tayo. And this is to remove the colloidal and dissolve organic materials. So, meron pa dito mga uh, uh, in organic materials. So, organisms feed on organic material in oxygen-rich environment. So, this is the activated sludge system. And this is aeration tank. So, nung nagpo-flow, the sludge returns, etc. So, here, the water will come here. Then, parang meron siyang gigiling ulit then and going back to activated sludge returns hanggang sa part na to this is the chemical precipitation and then nitrification disinfection then dito naman yung part ng irrigation constructed wetland systems and discharge to receiving water and that's the tertiary treatment to remove dissolved nitrogen and or phosphorus surely saan po tayo gumagamit ng chlorine balikan natin dito so, gumagamit po tayo ng chlorine sa tertiary level na po. Or sa tertiary treatment na po. So, sa primary, ulitin lang natin para maalala po natin. Ano yung four? The sedimentation, the erosion, skimming, and the sludge removal. Okay. So, that's for the summary of wastewater treatment. Now, Let's proceed to chapter 6, which is the, mat the plumbing materials and the drainage pipes and the fittings. So, let's discuss first, first the drainage pipe. So, this is the type of pipe that conveys waste from building to an approved point of disposal. 
At yung meron tayong mga drainage fittings. Actually, magkakahawig lang po yung mga fittings or na mga time sinks na ginagamit natin. However, iba-iba din yung materials. At usually, pag drainage fittings, mas malalaki po yung mga ginagamit natin ng mga sizes kaysa sa supply. So, these are pipes accessories in the drainage system such as a coupling, band, Y, etc. Used to join two or more pipes together or to change their direction. So, here's the types of drainage pipes. We have the waste pipe, soil pipe, storm pipe, vent pipe. Actually, na-discuss ko na din to, pero balikan lang natin. So, waste pipe, it's the pipe which carries only liquid waste. Liquid waste free of human excrement or fecal matter. So, it means wala siyang human excrement or fecal matter. It's just a liquid waste. Yung mga ihi, iganern. Diba? Pag soil pa, it actually, ito na yung sa ano talaga, uh, ihi, <laughs> ihi dumi. So, water closets, urinals, or fixtures, similar functions to the building drainage, which contains, ito na po yung human excrements. No? So, waste pipe is just a liquid waste. Or possible, pwede din natin gamitin yung ano ba yung mga uh, water waste lang, di ba? So, yun na yun. Basta walang human excrement, that is a waste pipe. Pag soil pipe, ito na po yung merong human excrement or yung galing sa mga toilet, sa urinal fixtures natin. Pag storm pipe, ito naman po yung usually for rainwater, why rainwater siya, from the roof gutter and downspout. Uh, the auto the building. Pag vent pipe naman, it's more on connected to the drainages that conveys naman po siya. So, para po, hindi po mamaho yung sa loob ng CR, mga ganun. O, di ba? And, um, and from the system, and keep the water from being siphoned siphon from the tarp, trap. Sorry. So, branch. This is the drainage pipe that runs horizontally Ulit, uh, tatanda lang natin pag branch, it's a drainage pipe that runs horizontally. Stack ang tawag pag ang ito ay vertical, patayo. Branch, pahiga. Stack, patayo. Yun po yun. S, B, H, yun lang. B, H, and S, V. Yan yung mga ano natin. B, H, and S, V. Yan yung mga parang tanda natin. So, the selection of piping materials for the drainage system depends on the following. Of course, pressure, velocity, temperature, corrosiveness of medium conveyed within, initial cost, installation cost, and operating problem. So, yan po yung mga, uh, in selections of the piping materials, we need to make sure ano yung pressure niya, velocity, temperature, corrosiveness of the medium conveyed within, and initial cost. Then, installation cost and operating problem. So, here's the common drainage pipe and fitting materials used. We have the ACP or the asbestos cement pipe. We have also the cast iron soil pipe, concrete pipe, vitrified tray pipe, and plastic pipe. Pwede tayo yung polyethylene or polyvinyl. PVC, which is, which is this is more common, PVC pipe, di ba? So, polyvinyl chloride po ang tawag doon. And polyethylene pipe is yung PE naman po ang ano doon. Meron din tayong ABS which is the acrylonitrile butadien citidrin. So, ang hirap basahin. So, ABS na lang po. No? And iron pipe size, we have the IPS. Ito naman po yung mga iron, steel, brass. Okay, we have also the lead. It's the safe spans is 10.56 kg per squared, uh, meter squared and 1.6 millimeter thick. So, for flushing or vent terminals, meron po siyang 14 point na kailangan is 14.63 kg per square meter and 1.2 mm thick. Pag lead bends and lead traps shall not be less than 3.2 in 
equal thickness. Yan. Ayusin natin. Yan. Not less than 3.2 in wall thickness. So, uh, let's discuss the asbestos type, cement type. It's This type is is made of asbestos fibers. Okay, asbestos and down. Combined under pressure with Portland mm -hmm. cement and silica to form a dense and homogeneous material. It is then cured for strength. Kaya asbestos po. Usually, mga malalaki to. Uh, pero meron ding maliliit. So, it depends. Andiyan ba si APM? Wait lang. Saglit lang, guys. Saglit lang.
Okay, I'm back. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's proceed. So, pagdating sa types of uh, of cement, uh, asbestos, meron tayong asbestos cement type, which is yung una is the pressure AC, asbestos cement pipe, and we have also the non-pressure, okay? So, pag pressure, it's used for sewer mains, industrial effluent and process piping, working pressure ranges 100, 150, and 200 PSI. Pag non-pressure, it's used for sewer casings, for electrical cables, and storm drains. So here's the properties. Here's the single hub and the double hub. Yan. 3 to 4 meter or 10 feet to 13 feet. Ganon. Kahaba. So properties, diameter 75 millimeter or 3 feet to 900 millimeter, 13 feet. So malalaki po talaga siya. We have also the length. It's 3 meter 10 feet mahaba niya no 4 meter 13 feet and 475 100 150 mm okay ito 3 meron din tayong 4 which is 13 4 200 yeah so here's the grades 15 24 3000 4000 and 5000 pounds per feet Nako, inahaluin mo. Sign mo na ilagay. We have also the joints, rubber gasket joint, and the same joint. So, yan po yung mga joints natin. So, here's the different sa, uh, to, design. We have the T. This is the T. The cross T. This is 75% elbow. Here's the sanitary tea. And this is the sanitary cross tea. We have also the 60% elbow. That's a 60% elbow. Uh, we have also the 45% elbow. This is the sanitary Y. Pinasa ko na. Nandun na sa loob. Sanitary Y and double Y. Yan, yung pagkakaiba niya. And this is 30, meron din tayong 30% elbow. And percent. 30 degree elbow. Then we have also the running P-trap. Yan, ito running P-trap. And this is P-trap. So asbestos cement pipe fittings po ulit po. So, ayan po yung mga designs ng uh, asbestos cement pipe. So, here's the joints. Bell or coupling and rubber gasket which fit between the groove and the spigot pipe. And, yan. 25 degree, 25 degree, 5 degree deflection. Yan. Note, uh, this is the note. Uh, asbestos pipe is, salmon pipe is remarkably suited for embedment in concrete structure since both materials have the same properties. Okay? So, ito po yung mga common types of fittings natin. You have the bends or the elbows are used to complete change of direction in soil waste and drain lines in horizontal, vertically, and diagonally directions. We have also the white branches, yung nagsasalubong po siya. Uh, These are used to change directions, diagonal, and branch connections of soil waste and drain pipes. We have also the T branches are joined in three. That's T branches, that's for uh, used to join three or four pipes with perpendicular direction. Ulitin natin. Here's the common types of pipe system. Pipe gate fittings. It's bends or elbows. 
para change talaga ng direction, horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. And why it's change of direction, diagonal, press, so, yan, change of direction, diagonal. Pag T, it's a joining of three or four pipes. Next kind of pipe na we, I will discuss is the cast iron soil pipe. And this iron, so this is more an iron, carbon, and the silicon. With the control amounts of manganese, sulfur, and phosphorus. So this is primarily used for sanitary drain, waste, and storm systems. So we have two classifications of cast iron soil pipe. We have the class A and the class B. Class A, it's extra We have the class A underground pusha Class B, sa service, or dun lang po siya sa surface. So, usually, general building installation. We have also the types of cast iron soil pipe. Ito yung mga stop types of cast iron soil pipe. We have the single hub, which is equipped with one hub and one spigot. And, and used in the installation of plumbing in its full length. Meron din po tayong double hub. It's uh, constructed with a hub on each end. So, pareha sila may hub in each end. And may be cut into two pieces when a short pipe, piece of pipe is needed. And we have also the hubless. No hub. And there's no hub on either ends of the pipe. It is used in the loo of the single hub, caulking of the pipe is difficult. So as we can see here, this is what we call the hub, hub or bell po yan, and this is the spigot. So pag single hub, ito po siya, wherein meron siyang hub dito, and this is the spigot with bead. Yan. Telescoping length is 21 per 2 inches. Or four when one four inches, uh, two and a half. Sorry, two and a half inches and four and a half inches. So, pag double half naman tayo, ito both ends meron po siyang half. Pagka half less, no half at all. Here's the properties available diameter nominal. Uh, inside diameter po is usually 2 inches, 3 inches, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 15. Hydrostatic test, dapat naka 50 PSI for service weight and 100 PSI for hexra heavy. Length nga is 5 foot and 5 feet and 10 feet. So here's the types of the joints. So meron po tayo, kailangan meron po tayong types of joints for cast iron soil pipe. We have here the lead and oakum joint, neoprene compression, jagasted, stainless steel couplings. So lead and oakum, neoprene compression, gasket, and stainless steel couplings for hubless. Okay. So ano po yung oakum? Oakum or welcome. Ano ba tang, ano ba ang tamang pronunciation of this? I think it's Okum. Okum treated. Uh, treated with pitch to make it moisture proof and resistant to the elements contained in the waste. We have also the caulking. It's a plugging and opening with Okum and lead that are pounded into place. Okum, it's a hemp treated with pitch to make it moisture proof. Yon and resistant to the elements contained in the waste and caulking it's a plugging and opening with oakum and lead that are pounded into place so this is caulk joint 
Okay, this is cock joint. And we see this is the hat. This is the plain end or beaded spiket. And this is the molten lead, 25 millimeter deep. And pack okum. This is the pack okum. And here's the stainless steel coupling. There's a stainless steel shield. The put yun. And hubless pipe, neoprene rubber so yung mga joint ning niya. And we have the stainless steel retaining clamp. Yung mga clamp. So very important po yung may mga joints kasi para hindi siya ganun kagalaw. Kasi if ever malalakas pa yung pressure, at least meron, magiging stabilized po siya. We have also the compression joint. Ito po yung hub. Neoprene gasket. Ito po yun. And the spigot without bead. So, what is hub? Or we can also say that it's also a bell. It's the portion of the pipe which for a short distance is sufficient and large to deceive the end of another pipe with the same diameter for the purpose of making a joint. We have also the spigot. It's the end of the pipe that fits into a bell or spigot. So here's the different designs of the fittings. So we have the one fourth bend, the combination of the Y, a one eight bend, single or double. You have the bend branch and double. Three fourth S, this is S wrap with or bend, a clean out. We have also the one fourth bend with heel inlet, and this is the upright. Y branch single and double. We have the one eight bend offset. This is the P trap one half S trap with or without the bend and clean out. And this is the long sweep bend. This one is the long sweep bend. And this is the sanitary T branch single a cup or double. We have the double hop. Here's the running trap with or without single or double bends and clean out. You have the one fifth or two one six bend, top sanitary branch, single and double. Here's the reducer, screw plug, brass. You have the one eight or six bend. This is T branch, single or double. Here's the increaser, plug for hub, Y branch, single and double. Top T branch, single or double, long increaser. And we have the size 6 inches and smaller. Okay. And Y branch, napababa, and that's inverted one. T branch will not be the screw plug. Ito po yun, screw plug to. Ah, sorry. We have also the S strap with or without vent and clean out. And that's it. That's the fitting for the cast iron. We have also the concrete pipe. It's a concrete pipe is a cast in metal molds and compacted by thumping or spinning the mold centrifugal casting. So we have the types of concrete pipe. It's non reinforced concrete pipe is used for drainage, sewer lines, and for gravity flow, water supply lines if the joints are carefully made, diameters available range from 100 meter or millimeter 4 inches to 900 millimeter 36 inches. We have also the thin for uh, concrete pipe which is the RCP. Ito po yun, RCP po. The enforced concrete pipe, it's made by the addition or steel wire or steel bars and is primarily used for sewage and storm drainage. Or, pag sinabi natin sewage and storm, pag storm drainage, that is for the rainwater, usually ganun. Tapos, uh, sewage, mga sewage treatment plant. The diameters are 300 millimeter, which is 12 inches to 3,600 millimeter or 142. Four inches. Here's the concrete pipe. Ito yung vitrified clay pipe. Ito yung concrete pipe. Then this is the cement joint for concrete pipe. Okay? 
Next natin is the vitrified clay pipe. Magawa siya sa clay. It's extruded from a suitable grade or shale or clay and fired in kilns, producing an extremely hard and dense corrosion resistant material. It is generally used for underground public sewers, house sewers, drainage or sanitary storm systems, and for industrial waste such as acids. So, yung bit pipe clay pipe is suitable most for most gravity flow systems and is not intended for pressure service. It is brittle. Madali po siya ma-brittle and magkaroon ng crack when laid on the unstable ground or base. So here's the properties. It's 100 millimeter or 4 inches and or 2 10,000 that 1050 millimeters 42 inches. We have also the grade standard excess strand perforated and the joints with the cement joint pre-fabricated compression seals. So here's the vertical clay, uh, clay pipe fittings. We have the short curve, T branches, Y branch, square, L, uh, slant, uh, the cut L, the cut curve, the running prop, offset, here's the offset, the reducer, and the increaser. This is the vitrified clay pipe fittings. And the, mo the most commonly used pipes is uh, the plastic pipes. So plastic pipe is available in composition design for various applications, including the drain, the waste, and vent. So sa basic types of plastic ta, pipe, meron tayong thermosol plastic, and we have also the thermoplastic. Pag sinapin natin thermosol plastic, it has the property of being permanently rigid. Epoxy and fiberglass are example of this. And yung thermoplastic, matil having the property na masoften pa siya. Pag thermosol is more rigid, thermoplastic, pwede siyang masoften when heated or hardening when cooled. Okay. So, iinitin tapos papalamigin. Yan. So, there's a types of plastics for drainage system. So, we have the polyethylene, which is yung PE, which is high density PE spiral pipe, as used as drainage and sewer pipe for housing complex, playground, golf course, industrial farm, and stock farm. It is sufficiently flexible to follow ground contours of snakes and around obstacles we have here the uh, high piping fittings natin or or yung pe fittings natin uh yung more on parang spiral siya yan so it's pitch this is the tickle ito yung pitch yung baba itong baba ito yung nakataas that is a, a sorry tikal yan tikal taas ito naka taas ng kaunte and that is a tikal and yung sa baba that is a pitch it is the inner diameter this is the outer diameter yung tikal to tikal then inner is yung sa pitch to pitch um properties niya diameter 100 100 um 100 millimeter or 4 feet uh 2 900 millimeter 36 inches pala and color is black joint screw type couplings round atlanta yeah. sample normal soil poor soil so here's the designs we have here this is the coupling the, the 90 percent degree bend the 45 degree bend the end cup the t type that's a t rough reducer reducer to ito cross t then cross t reducer lumi itong part na to ito y and double y reducer so that's a high five fittings we have also the polyvinyl, or ito yung pinaka-common, which is the polyvinyl chloride. It's a thermoplastic 
type, which is composed of molecules of polymers. Each molecule is a long chain made of carbon, hydrogen, and other atoms which are melted down and molded. So we have here the UPVC sanitary pipes and plasticized, DWB. So the types, ulitin ko lang, the types of PVC, we have also the UPVC sanitary types or the unplasticized. And DWB is designed for above underground sanitary piping systems. It is still for drain, waste, and vent insulation. We have also the UPVC sewer pipe can be used for the main sewer system and other underground waste piping which requires big diameter pipes. Ito na po yung mga designs. You have the elbow 45 degree, elbow 90 degree, T, uh, T, this is the T, this is the Y, double Y, pataas po yung Y, no? Double T, it's more on parang uh, horizontal siya. Reducer, this is the reducer, the couplings, the clean outset. So, plain end pipe, socket end pipe, and this is the rubber ring end pipe. So, this is the properties, diameter niya, it's all uh, 6 inches. And 8, eight inches rubber ring joint. And pag solvent cement joint, that is a 10 inches, 12 inches. Okay, so here's the properties diameter available. Oh, yeah. So, hindi ko mabasa. Advantage niya, high impact resistance, non corrosive siya. Lightweight, high chemical resistance, smooth internal pipe surface, and economical. UPVC sanitary pipe, DWB, it's elbow 90 degree, T, top T, ayan. elbow 45 degree, ito yung double Y, clean out ad uh, adapter, elbow 45, double Y reducer, coupling Y, double T, Bushing and reducer, Y reducer, double T reducer, and P trap with phenol. Okay, so that's it for tonight. And thank you for watching. Exactly 10 o'clock p.m. And tomorrow, I will discuss about the basic plumbing tools for drainage and pipes and fittings. So, yun lang guys. Thank you for tonight. And please do not forget to like and this and share this video. And as well as, please... Ah, follow my page para marami pa po, para updated po tayo. So, so yun lang po. Thank you so much for watching for tonight's video and see you tomorrow and have a nice day.